Hi Taurus, welcome to your Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle card readings. These readings are for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There is a Law of Attraction message linked in the description box if you're interested. We will start off with a money reading, then we'll have a love reading. Here we go. For, this is money first. Step back. You're being asked to step back from your life in order to gain perspective. When you're too close to a situation, it can be hard to make a decision. Span out and view your life from a distance so you can get the perspective needed. So if you're stuck in between making a decision and it's just too difficult, there may be something about it. You know what it makes me think of when you're trying to buy, well, match colors, especially in clothes. When you stand too close to them, you can't really see it. But when you get back, how you can see like, yeah, that goes or no, it doesn't. If you've never tried it, try it and you'll see, you'll see it from a different view. Okay, the other card you have here is let go. You're being asked to let go of whatever pain and resentment you've been holding on to. It's hurting you and you can't fully be present in your life. If you're holding on to this negativity, release it and be free. So if there's something too, like I was getting somebody not getting what they thought in an inheritance, or if it was something to do with not getting a promotion, it feels like some area where you feel like you should have been given more than you were, and it's caused a bit of a resentment in terms of money. Now all I can think about is stand back, Stevie Nicks. Okay, you've got the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Well, I feel like it's time to let go of doing battle. Okay, I feel like they're saying it big time here. So with the Page of Pentacles, you may have had had you may have had an opportunity or even a promise with this where somebody really pumped you up and told you something that was going to be a certain way. And they promised it and they got you excited and they may have even given you a deposit or some sort of a, you might have been making money off of the situation or if you do any kind of freelance or contract work and it's suddenly they've ended the contract, I feel like it's time to move on to something else. Now with this Eight of Pentacles, it does show money coming in, but I also feel like too, it shows your commitment and dedication. I feel like if you've had an ending with something, it is time to move on to something else is what they're saying. I feel like what keeps pulling you back is you may have invested a lot into it. So if it was something like you were renting a place and they said, well, we'll sell it to you. And then they said, never mind after you did a lot of work and went, wait a minute, what is going on here? I feel like whatever it was, you gave them your very best stuff. And it does feel unfair. I'm not going to try to you know, tell you the cards aren't saying what they're saying. I do feel like you put in quite a commitment, quite a bit of time and effort and loyalty and all the things. And it seems like for some reason, they did not keep up their end of the bargain. Now, if it's something with a contract, you may have some recourse because contracts, depending on how it was set up, the, you know, there's an agreement between two parties. So if they didn't keep up their end of the agreement, there may be another storyline here. But as far as this, I feel like they're saying it's time to move on, that you've done as much as you can do, and it's time to go for something new. And so the Ten of Swords is actually in the advice. So with this Ten of Swords, it is an ending, but it is also saying that you're going to get a, the information you need to be done with it once and for all. So I feel like you once you get to this place, it will be time to start a new beginning, but it's also to a card of realizations and it's a card of getting your power back. So if it felt like you kept investing and investing, but it never had the right outcome, I feel like they're trying to agree with you and saying that's why it's time to go forward into something new. But let's see what else we need to know here. Aha, interesting. Tread lightly on such sensitive ground. Now, the other thing that I got from this, if you got a better turn of events and somebody's mad at you for it, okay? Because I started to get this feeling with this Ten of Swords 
And I got it in the beginning and I should have told you then, like if you got a promotion or you got something and the tables are turned, it's not you that got slighted, but somebody else. I feel like they're specifically talking about that. Be careful with that because I feel like if it is something that you gained and someone else lost, they're not happy about it. So I feel like with this, it's a it's a difficult reading, but it's true. It's it's somebody's reading. So we are going to go on now to love here, and uh, we'll start with oracles again. Yeah, I just keep getting that. Like if it's if the tables are turned and it was you, that it may be an ending with somebody that just like I said, there's no point in arguing with them. Okay, we got to get on here. Paradise, happiness, and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, the honeymoon phase. So if you are going on a trip too, I feel like they're saying it's going to be great. Oh, and you have the card of the ship. How wild. Cutting ties, moving on. Receive what you need, progression and arriving. So there may be something about this, moving on to a new phase and cutting ties. Now, if you had some kind of a, a connection between an ex and your job, too, and that may be part of it, too, especially related to that other reading, that it is all about moving on entirely. That is interesting. Pardon me on that. Okay, there we go. The devil, the moon, more will be revealed in death. Three major arcana, and four major arcana. This is solid. Well, I do feel like you're. It's it's about the ending of old patterns. This devil energy. If you were involved with somebody and you feel like you could not get separated from them, they are trying to tell you it's time to move on, and that you're going to get exactly the information. I feel like you're going towards somebody here too. That's going to be quite different from the ex. Somebody who's, and if you're already with them, good for you. Because it's somebody who is very honest. They're very protective of you. And you, there's nothing hidden. So in the past, you had this energy of something here that brought you in. And it wasn't as it seemed. It may have been somebody who lied when it was easier to tell the truth. And perhaps made you feel like you were the crazy one. Oh, don't be crazy. And it's like, no, you're not crazy. It's them. And so with this devil energy too, they may have also been quite controlling. And part of it, I feel like, is their own way of covering up their own behaviors. So again, this is in the past. It's time to break free of those old patterns to have a new beginning. Now you have Capricorn, Aries, Pisces, Scorpio, all four major arcana. That rarely happens in these readings. With the energy of the moon, more will be revealed. But I do feel like if you have an ex, especially if they were somehow related to the money reading, that they still keep tabs on you and they might make one last ditch effort to reel you back in. But I don't see you doing it. And I feel like the cards are pushing you forward. They're almost urging you to move forward. Now with the energy of the moon, you take one step, the universe takes two. So if you're single and saying, I do not want that ex back with the energy of the moon, you're going to find that you have new social opportunities, new places to meet people, new ways just to even enjoy your friend's company, new activities where you don't feel depressed. You don't feel like, you know, when is it going to be my turn? Because with the energy of death, it is about a rebirth. This is a hugely transformational energy. It's spiritual shifting and it, he moves forward over the wreckage of the past. So none of the old stuff follows you. Old relationship patterns, if someone broke your heart, I feel like you're going to be leaving them and moving forward. Your ship is coming in here. So I mentioned before, with a new person, it's someone too who may be quite successful at their job where they, they have a lot of responsibilities, but it doesn't bother them. They're not overwhelmed by it. This is somebody solid. And you, I keep hearing you saying, they think of everything. So you may find when you meet with them that they're, or meet them, that they're very um, evolved in a lot of ways. Like they've had a lot of experiences in life, but they're not pushy about it. They're not trying to tell everybody, listen to my life. It's somebody who knows who they are, 
but they're again evolved and mature enough that they don't need to advertise it. There's a subtlety about them that I do feel like you're going to find is very, very enticing and alluring. Now you have cards here too that have the stream of consciousness, the seed of the soul and multiple cards. You even have it in a little trickle from the emperor. And this card reminds us that you're still a divine being, even though this is about reason and logic. And it also too could be the person you're attracting really has a head in terms of logic and making good decisions, a great problem solver. And so this is somebody too who combines passion with discipline. So when they get on a, when they're passionate about something, look out, um, you know, and they, they feel those feelings, but they're also disciplined so that they can maintain their life. I feel like you have a great love interest here, especially if you're saying, I need it. This has been crazy trained. Okay, now they say, no, it's time to move on. Didn't we say that? And I know it's not always popular. They said it's time to move on, and so did the tarot, okay? Good things are on the way for you, Taurus. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.